Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's old family read. This is a read for uh, the collective, for whoever resonates. Try to do a daily read. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll do the weekend uh, collective read. And uh, I kind of leave this open. I do read myself into it some. It's a little different than um, a lot of the other reads I do, which are more romance reads. And this is more about personal uh, astrology, personal meta. Uh, spirituality, uh, let's say metaphysics, yeah, uh, manifestation, it's got metaphysics, no, nope. uh, using the ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck uh, this morning, and right on time, I don't know what that is, I'm sorry, for this. <laughs> I try to get out here early, it's cold, like, by cold, I mean, it. honestly, it might be 68, I'd really look, 69, probably went below 70, and to me, that's like, Jesus, that's freezing, that they're stopping uh, because they're doing some work up the canyon I call it it's uh, this kind of a uh, little forest in the midst of these uh, three-story apartments that run this whole block um, that's kind of why I got this place to really like it so okay so I'm just going to do a general read for today um, I did pre-shuffle the one put a little energy on them though um, I didn't really have anything in mind um, been focused you know really on work and love I just thought like I could kind of think for this reading what am I focused on in the morning and it's kind of normally what I'm focused on you know it was Freud and you know I'm a Jungian so uh, you know I read all that when I was young and um, definitely immediately related more to the um, Jungian theory than Freudian and but you know he said work and love is the main thing and I that always stuck in my mind you know um, that in the mem sometimes a cigar is just a cigar <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why let's see where we're at here and our souls work you know and i and i uh, just said a little while ago to my girlfriend it's like well the main thing i keep in mind is that this is a really about my soul's work and soul's growth and she completely understands pisces move I think Pisces Moon, all of, all of you have got a Pisces Moon just kind of bored uh, with one foot on the other side. <laughs> you kind of understand the spiritual world. Pisces is the spiritual sign. Now, Nine of Cups, speak, uh, speaking of, can be Pisces. Um, can speak to Pisces energy in our chart since I'm talking about it. Um, really significantly, Neptune's now stationing to go direct. And that's going to be huge at 20 degrees Pisces, where it's really powerful. Also, each sign is divided in real quick, you know, three deacons. And this is hugely important. You can advance a little bit of your stride, say you just know your sun. What degree is your sun at? 1 to 10, first deacon. You know, 10 to 20, second. 20 to 30, third. And they all have different meanings. Um, so for me, you know, it brings in, because my sun is at uh, uh, 25 degrees, and the third uh, sign from Sagittarius, fire sign, uh, would be Leo. Um, so first would be Aries coming right in April, and then would be Leo in the summer. And so that would be the third deacon. So it gives me a little Leo flavor. Damn if I can see it. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the theory. Um, it also has to do with the maturity, which is important in this. I'm going to let you see this. I can't see it yet because this is our blocking card. But with Neptune um, here uh, going into the third deacon, it's the mature Neptune. So I'd like to think you're going into the higher octaves of Neptune, which is unconditional love. Most important thing about Neptune, it's the higher octave of Venus. Venus is personal love, and Neptune is unconditional love, right? Um, cups, Ace of Cups, this is what's blocking. <sighs> To me, it makes me sad, and I, f I felt it right here. I swear to God, I felt it, because immediately when I saw it, went, wah, wah. It's like a reverse Ace of Cups. Um, because being in the blocking position, you could say it's, it's very much like the reversal of this energy. And an Ace of Cups is so beautiful, and it, it is totally... The, it's being in the midst of a <clears throat> new love. Uh, of life, of a person, of your work, uh, <clears throat> feeling, feeling the new start, you know, 
um, ace of cups, uh, ace of, uh, pit of uh, wands, is a fiery, passionate, feeling the passion of the new beginning, you know. Uh, this is uh, really feeling it, and it's like we're not feeling it. And um, I, I think too, with coming in with the nine of cups, you gotta say also, this is being whole in ourselves, complete in ourselves. And um, I always like to say, as a relationship guy, relationship channel, when you get the nine of cups, you know, um, that's when you can have the ten of cups. But you, you can't jump from like you can't jump from the eight of cups which is leaving uh emotionally unfulfilling situation to the ten of cups which is a totally emotionally fulfilling situation without making a stop at the nine of cups <laughs> but then again if you add an ace of cups if it wasn't uh um upside down <laughs> and you could add it uh, then you would have your ten of cups so it's like uh emotionally we're holding back just something some little bit um and, and it's uh not fully you know i think with this i'm asking what are we why am i holding back why are we holding back here from really letting go and and, and kind of uh i think this is the energy of being caught up in being in this ace of all in ace of cup you're all in with your emotions and really love here uh why not and I think it's because, uh, and I think this is God to help me. God bless us all, right? Honestly, right now, by the fourth, really significantly. Now, I, I'm not saying it's just because I'm a Sag, but I think the energy's coming in. Man, it's going to change. I think this is kind of what we, I know for myself, I have reached a hard one. Oh my God, man. Tooth and nails, hard one. There's bloody nails in a wall uh, somewhere, in a rabbit hole wall that I climbed out of to get a little bit of stability and balance in my life and peace, I call it, you know. Um, and so I think like it's this feeling um, um, if we really fully open ourselves and, you know, money, I'm thinking many of you, if you're watching this, you're probably an empath. So uh, this is certainly speaking of an empath. You've got nine of cups, uh, the ace of cups. Uh, uh, and, and this is in this that it's blocking here and I'm trying to get the help with this two of Pentacles it's definitely this energy of uh, being comfortable it, with our story of the past our feelings uh, feelings feeling our feelings of the past being kind of comfortable with that and uh, you know for me it's like uh, if I meet a new person now I have to kind of still remind myself it's not natural that when I get to know them, my go-to is not telling them the story of my terrible childhood and my troubled this and troubled that. And um, it's just being open and what are you doing and telling them how I feel and what I'm doing now and what I want for the future. I just am starting to feel it more future oriented. And I think this month is going to be the game changers going to put us over that edge because there is a comfort you know uh, to this i once you know wrote and i meant it and i still been mean it it's uh, i can't get around it um, one of the few things in my life that's never abandoned me because i've abandoned me at times i've given up and i can say well god's never abandoned me my angels never abandoned me it's true and i'm trying to think more along those lines but my thought was that abandonment ironically is one of the few things that has never abandoned me <laughs> i honestly kind of made my peace with it you know i think it sunk in uh, someone told me and i do read the bottom of the deck highly in this little four card reading so we're going through a transformation this is a repeated theme over keep, keep seeing the death card over and over and over my shelf full of death card death card death card um and this is party this here it is it's like in order to transform something actually has to die you know um and i see myself sometimes sitting around like drinking a glass of expensive scotch with a i see like a fireplace and it's snowing outside it's very snug very comfortable maybe there's leather you know i don't really smoke cigars but for this fantasy maybe there's a cigar involved uh, and i'm but i'm, I'm looking up at the smoky colored bourbon scotch scotch man and it's just that i'm thinking like oh it's so beautiful oh. 
and that's sort of my mess from the past. It's like I've come to love myself through it, through that, to love myself. And so I sort of identify myself as that person. I want to tell everyone, oh, in 2008, man, I had a near-death experience and I was completely paralyzed and I had to fight back and couldn't walk. And, you know, uh, and it's just, and, I, and this is a big one for me, it's, uh, well, at least I'm not dead. So no matter how bad I feel, I literally tell myself, well, at least I'm not dead. And I don't want to get past that and I don't want to make my uh, benchmark, you know, at least I'm not dead. So I want to kind of challenge myself to kind of move out of that energy of literally uh, seeing myself as kind of being uh, crippled and uh, handicapped, really. And let's see what our advice is. Two of Cups. Now this reading, Manifestation Spirituality, it could involve another person for me. It honestly does. I totally get it. But I manifested this, and Spirit has blessed me, literally blessed me. Um, <clears throat> and so this could be another person. But this is 100% Spirit saying, love yourself. And saying that, you know, we can let go of this past because we are enough. And any moment as we go forward, we are enough. Um, I try, I, yesterday on my Facebook page, I posted like an incantation, I call it, that kind of goes into this. Um, <clears throat> but I told you with the nine of cups and the ace of cups if we can turn that around we have the ten of cups right and when you have the nine of cups anyway you're heading towards the ten of cups you know that's when someone's going to come in I know it's not a love reading um, but this could be that this balance this being able to move fully into our new lives <sighs> transformation you know I mean, did you ever think maybe that the butterfly or the moth is kind of a little bit going, ah, I kind of miss being a caterpillar. You know, it was so peaceful sometimes, just kind of clinging there at a little branch with the breeze blowing and, you know, predators wanting to eat me. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but I think, like, it's really time with this transformation just to move on. I still have that feeling like it's uh, being, like, caught up in a, a little bit in a whirlwind you know this is uh this is energy outside of our control this is outer planets pluto stuff so you know what we do is uh hopefully at very best we can ride this instead of having it ride us yeah consult your local astrologer here i am <laughs> uh wow the night this is the coming at you night the coming at you thoughts communications this is the future i gotta think and, and when I see this, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm still very tired. I feel very weak. I feel like I'm barely on my knees here. Uh, I feel okay, but I don't feel like I, ha I have to husband my energy, okay, uh, as a lot now. And honestly, it to just been uh, energy with my relationship and in, enjoy that. In, in life a little bit that I can uh, and put some energy into this channel I'm I feel really challenged and really maxed out and man am I feeling this this is balance in your life this is good this is like keep rolling up the sleeves and figuring it the fuck out and making it work you know um, and so um, but as well as being what I was saying though about this always based on the relationship here um, and, but it is that hard one balance, very stable, in control, like I got here, I did this, I did it with a lot of help, you know, but maybe spirits come in and remind you, you know, you had a lot of help, right, Dave, <laughs> you know, like, uh, right, uh, but what's coming in, in the future is just a lot of shit's coming at us, man, um, I think we're basically going to get there this month, and by January, then it's gonna that's air that's aquarius you know um um uh, coming at us um uh, we're gonna be banging it here and into february uh is just entirely new kind of energy and it uh, makes me a little nervous you know uh, i think it's uh gonna mean a lot more communication um 
and a lot more asserting of ourselves. I think, like, I hate to say to get that, not to be, because it's not political. Um, it's really just sort of getting in the game by just saying, like, you know, I believe in love, I believe in light, I'm following my path to my greatest abilities. And, you know, being, being that knight, being the soldier, you know, it's, uh, knights are always Mars, always action. Uh, action in our communication in action in our thoughts you know maybe uh, having learned to manifest in the power of your mind you know now this is turning it into life and trying to take uh, you know going out as a knight on a mission mm -hmm. I like it guys you know so we don't become a moth or a butterfly on the other side what we become is a knight on a mission I want to say mission from God homage to the Blues Brothers, so I will. Night, like the Blues Brothers, on a mission for God. <laughs> Thank you, guys.